Hello, this is Warrior the Queen with your spiritual reading, and today is Friday. The first card I pull is the star card. This card is insight, spiritual guidance, and enlightenment. Notice the numbers right there on her forehead. I pull fortune. See how she's just shaking out the fortune? She's just shaking it out everywhere. I pull the Ali's card, spiritual guides, protection, guardian, connection with the gods, awakening, higher life, follow your instincts, maintain a, a position, one. So she's shaking out that fortune. She's in connection. With her higher self, insight, spiritual guidance, enlightenment. She's shaking it out because she's she's where she's want to be. And this card is saying, maintain your position. One, stay in tune. This card also represents the moon card, intuition. Illusions and unconscious. Maintain your position. Stay in connection. The next card I pull is the judgment card. A new phase. Awakenings. Realization. I pulled the officer. The card I pulled with this is the T Wars card. To be successful in completion. Very motivated. Find the spiritual self. Honor, justice, leadership. Victory and success in legal matters. This card also represents the justice card. Clarity, truth, cause, and effect. Now, this is the justice card. You have been appointed as an officer. You are awake. You are or re- you have become, you are realizing, and you are at a new phase in your life. The T. Wise card saying that you will be successful. You will be motivated, and you will have leadership. Victory and success in legal matters. I pull the nine of wands. Stability. Achievement security. And learning from experience. I put the hog loss card. Destructive forces of nature. Things that are out of our control within the unconscious. Testing leading to completion. Okay. Um, I put marriage. This is a ceremony. This card jumped out at me for... uh, 
one thing because sometimes even though we have stability, security, sometimes things are out of our control. Sometimes things happen, you know. Um, sometimes you have to rebuild. Sometimes we have to rebuild. So I jumped the cord on you. That cord just kind of jumped out at me. Um, but this is the marriage card. It's kind of like ceremony. Um, but, um, sometimes we, we have to go back and rebuild. Things sometimes are out of our control. Um, this card also represents the world card. Fulfillment, harmony, and completion. And there's nothing wrong with having to rebuild. Sometimes we rebuild, make it stronger than ever before. Isis, start, stay true and be in your power. You are sovereign divine being with spiritual authority and freedom within. You do not need permission from anyone to be who you are and live your life as you so choose. This is your divine birthright. Guard it as the precious treasure that it is a remember that you are a divine being, free to be you. And also, pull the healer. And we are all healers. And, you know, with this card, you have to believe I am a healer. This card is called medicine. And with this card, the affirmation for this card is I am a healer. I mean, look at the bird, the moon, I am a healer, it's the I am that bring it into being, I am a healer. And that is your reading for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.